Wow. That's all I can say is wow. It was my birthday. It was my birthday. This weekend. First, let me start by saying, I will say thank you in a minute, but every day should be a good day. That's my motto. But it was my birthday. I've lost track of stuff. Yeah, I did. Crazy. Every day's a gift. How the hell is everybody? I'm here. You're here. Let's go. The gang's all here. I like it. What I want you to do? We need to start a watch party. Because uh, tonight could be uh, buckle up is all I can say. Tonight might just might be the one. I promise you that uh, gearing up to this show has been a, uh, a little bit of a task. Let's start this. So let's see. Watch this video with your friends now. I want to watch this video with my friends now. I'm starting a watch party right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Good evening. It's good to be live. I'm glad I'm here. How are you? For those of you who catch the show live, welcome. There'll be more coming here. There's five different pages it goes to. It may not look like a lot of things are happening from where you're watching, but trust me, a lot of things are happening from where you're watching. And a lot more things will happen from where you're watching if you'll start a watch party. I can't tell you how important that is. When you share, if you believe in what I do and you believe in listening and sharing, it's all about sharing stories. People need these stories. Stories that I've been told and heard have helped me. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when we share stories, we're helping others. I'm no professional. We just share stories and take what you want from it. But this is what I believe in. That's why we do Sunday Night Life with Peter G, The Peter G Show. It's all about life. And I'm very grateful for life. It can go either way, you know what I mean? And I prefer to be in the positive end of it, even though I bitch a lot. And I do. I tell you how much, uh, how thankful I am to be here? I am. You know why I'm thankful to be here? Because I could not be here if it was not for my beloved Bolt Energy. Bolt Energy, electrify your senses. Bolt Energy is new. It's enriched with vitamins and antioxidants. Not a great giant big can. You don't need a lot of it. Only 80 grams of sugar. And there's a sugar-free coming as well. But most of all, why I like Bolt Energy is I love the taste. It tastes good. I can't stand drinking some friggin' energy drink that you drink it because you need it. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't drink hot stuff. I like cold, a little bit of sparkly. Hence the Bolt Energy. And one major number one that nobody else has, no preservatives. All right? Go find that in another energy drink. Wait, you won't. If you can't find Bolt Energy, ask your store, hey, where's the Bolt Energy? Keep asking. They'll get it. Believe me, they're business owners. They want to sell what sells. And you can also write to www.drinkboltenergy and say, hey, Bolt Energy people, where can I find Bolt Energy? They're cool. They'll get back to you. These guys are workout fanatics. They make me look like Pee Wee Herman. They wanted a cleaner energy drink, something better. Because everybody talks a lot of trash about energy drinks. What is good for you nowadays, you know what I mean? But this just gives you enough get up and go so you can do what you want to do and do what you need to do with, you know, with less. You don't have to drink a lot, you know? That's the whole thing. It's like it's condensed and doesn't get you all jittery and crazy. It just gets, gives you that little boost in the ass that you need. I'm in. I'm going to pop a can right now as I always do. Hey, saying hey to all my folks. Oh, yeah. Woo. Salute. And 
We'll talk about my birthday in a minute. <laughs> Oh man, it's good, it's refreshing, I like it. Oh, preservative free. Go see that on another can of any other thing you can. That's strong, that's strong. Anyway, all right, so Sunday night, February 23rd, here we are. I want to thank everybody for last week. You know, last week I opened up and told a story of my own. You know, not easy, right? Everybody has this perception of what I do, how I do, what I'm doing, and most of you are wrong. <laughs> but I'm real open about it. I mean, you know, we're just all just people. I'm not saying that I don't do good stuff, but I'm just saying that, you know, we all get up and put our shoes on the same way, and, you know, a few people have a few more dollars, a few more people have less, and... Some people have a million kids, some people have no kids, and you know, just everybody's just living life. But I gotta tell you, whether you're worrying about your next $10 or your next $100,000, the headache is basically the same. It really is. Because that $10 is really important to somebody, And but if you're living at a, at a, at a level to where that $100,000 is, it's just like having the $10, because you're trying to keep up with your, you know, whatever it is you're doing. And, and then you go, well, yeah, at least you got that. Well. You know what? They, nobody sees it that way. I mean, most people work for it and they get it. And I'm not saying you don't deserve it, but it's just what I guess. What I'm saying is, life it's it's all it all levels out. Be humble is what I can tell you. Be humble. Be thankful. Be grateful. Be kind. So sick of shitty people. Be kind. I don't care if I get stepped. I get kicked once in a while. You know, my kindness just you know gets taken advantage of. And I'm not super you know, this or that, but I, I, I try to con keep things in consideration, try to do the right thing. Sometimes it backfires, but I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm not going to let it m make me bitter and jaded. I just, I, this is how I'm wired. And when I told the story last week of Mr. Ralph and all the things that I had to go through with this man and why I stayed and just did what I did, it's because it didn't hurt me. It didn't change. Well, it, it definitely burned some memories that I'm you know going to take with me, but I mean, I probably, you know, I do it, uh, that's the way I do things. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Somebody's got to. And I'm just one of those somebodies. In the meantime, here I am. Here we are in an undisclosed location in Burbank, California. Life of Peter G. Every Sunday night. I hope you're sharing it. And again, a lot of people watch this stuff during the week, you know, because Sunday nights are too late. But uh, it's all good. Here we are, and Friday was my birthday, and I gotta tell you, this is what amazes me very much about this show. There are so many silent majority fans. I mean, quiet people that watch. And one example is the people that came out of the woodwork that I don't even recognize. Now, again, there's you know you can't know everybody's names, but you know I keep up on Facebook pretty good, but. The gazillions that came out of the you know the woodwork to just wish me a happy birthday. I know it's not that hard to do, but believe me, it takes a little bit of effort. But they were people that not the common people that come around that I see, you know, and those are in the thousands or this and that, you know, that I, where I could see because again with the watch parties, you can't tell. I can't tell the count or what's going on. Hopefully, you're doing these watch parties if you believe in me. That's how we're building this, but. People came out of the woodwork. I was lo I've was been up for three days trying to personally thank everybody. And I'm telling you, the way Facebook's set up, things are getting lost. And I'm going to screw this up. And that's why I'm going to make my apologies right now. I'm trying. Because it's very important to me. That's right. Love you too. But the thing is, I'm so grateful. There's so many people, you know, and, and a lot of people, you know, the business people, the TV people, they're like, you know, well, we don't see a lot of numbers physically, you know, because I'm doing this ass backwards and I make no shame about it, make no apologies about it. The bottom line is I know you're out there and I'm asking you to please make yourself verbal, you know, share these things because this is, if you believe in me, we're going to believe me, we're going forward and we're taking this thing to another level one way or another, but you know. 
you got to understand that the business end of it, it's like they want to see results. You know, it's like, show me what you got. Who's following you? How many of you? I am, I am not that person who's got the, the crazy, you know, viral videos. I don't. Maybe I'm too normal. That's my flaw. You know, I got to do something stupid crazy, but I'm not going to. I bring stuff to the table. Life is going to get better with a bigger budget. The shows are going to get more interesting. And I'm going to bring more stuff to the table. But for right now, this is how we do it. And you're, sw you're watching. I know you are. But you're quiet. And that's okay. I'll take it. But share it then. If you won't verbally like help expose the show, then just do the watch parties. Every time you see clips, share them. You know, this Peter G guy... He's not bad. Anything. I love you for it. I love you for all the birthday wishes. You know, my birthday, I don't take it that much. I mean, to me, every day is a good day. I'm very thankful for every day. But, yes, you know, maybe your birthday should be a little bit more special. I was busy. We are cranking. I have a lot going on in my life. I don't, you know... Uh, oh, by the way, did you happen to catch my birthday mix? <laughs> My daughter looked at me and says, oh my God, seriously? But her girlfriends love it. She's showing it. She just, she won't give in to me, but she's showing the stuff. And her, her friends think I'm cool. And one of them, they came and they surprised me. You know, she brought me something for my birthday, which was a first. I was surprised. My daughter's like off in her own world. And I don't worry about it because I know she loves me. I love that baby more than anything. But she's a child. She came and she surprised me with, with something and uh, for my birthday, which was totally blew me away. And she was with one of her girlfriends. And her girlfriend said, uh, you know, we were talking about embarrassing each other and this and that. And her girlfriend says, you're going to be sorry because your dad's going to be famous. And then you're going <laughs> to... And I said, yeah, you're going to be sorry because your dad is... I don't worry about being famous. I just want to be out there doing what I do because it's what I love to do. It's going to get better. My ideas are huge, but I stick within my means for right now. So I love you all. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. Believe me when I tell you, I'm doing this for us. And we're all going to go into this together. And then you can say, wow, we all, you know, I remember when. Promise you, love you guys more than anything. I can't, I always say that. I never take it for granted. You don't have to watch me. But it's not bad if you do. <laughs> so I love you very much. And now we're going to move on. I have a woman that's going to be on this show. She's been talking to me since the summer, last summer, and we just could never get it together. I can't do it. She wants to do it. I'm booked. Then I try to get her and don't hear from her for ages. I think we're finally there. Start a watch party because this might be worth it. So here's the deal. I'm going to give her a call. She claims... She has a lifetime of things she wants to get off her chest. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't know if she's nuts. I don't know if she's got it together. I don't know how, you know, I don't know. We never went into detail. I go, blah, 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 blah. save it for the show. And that's what we're going to do. I like surprises. Whichever way it may go, I can handle it. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give her a call. And... Mm-mm-mm. Two ringy dingies. Three ringy dingies. Hello? Michelle? Yes? Yeah? Hey, it's Peter G. You're live on the air. You okay? I'm fine. Good. Okay. Well, we did it. You can hear okay? Uh, we, uh, so far, just like I said, just keep, keep it nice and clear, and that way everybody, my three or three million people can hear you. How are you doing? <laughs> three million people. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Listen, so I was just telling everybody that, um, you know, you and I have gone back and forth trying to do this since probably last summer, right? 
Um, I think so. Yep. Yeah, I, I've lost tra- I lost track in time. The times when you really voiced yourself and wrote to me and said, "Hey, I want to be on your show," uh, I couldn't do it. And then when I could do it, you couldn't do it. And finally, here we are in 2020 in February, and and we and, and even then, until I actually had you on the phone, I had my doubts. But here we are. Well, I'm here. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, you gave me multiple since we've talked through the through the months on and off. You know, you one minute you tell me you want to talk about this or talk about that, and then you said, you know, Peter, I got a lifetime of stuff I want to get off my chest. What do you want me to talk about? I said, I'm going to let you pick. I'm going to let you decide oh. what, what you want to talk about. Brother. Yeah. Well, so let's start from the beginning. Brother, so wait, so you're letting me lead the show here? Huh? What? Well, I, I am letting you lead the topic of what you want to get off your chest. <laughs> How about asshole exes? Okay, tonight's topic is asshole exes. What do you want to talk about? Yeah. Well, I mean... You're divorced? I am divorced. How many kids? Yes. You got kids? I have kids. How many? Yes. Um, well, I have three. You have three? How old? Well, my son is 14. Okay. My daughter is 12. Okay. And my oldest passed away at three and a half. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, okay. So, so you're, you're divorced, and, and uh, again, what is the problem? What is your main issue right now? I mean, obviously, you, how long have you been divorced? I have been divorced since 2015. 2015? Fifteen. Yep. Oh, okay. Five so, years. so five years. I I can relate. And uh, you still having problems? Are you? Oh yeah. It was it was a, a a brutal divorce, if you will. Shocking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of those ones that. Okay. Was drug out support system for a good two and a half years. Mm-hmm. Um. Cost me over thirty five grand. Yep. Yep. Sounds familiar. And. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so, what's the biggest issue? Ch- custody? Uh, what, what was the biggest issue? Well, so, so I had mentioned to you, you know, that I I was married and divorced in the state of Florida, and 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 I actually got to watch one of your previous shows about the Florida attorney. Yep. Um, and I thought to myself, wow, boy, I wish I could have had an attorney like that. Don't you wish? That's why I do this show. Yeah, well, <laughs> you weren't around when I was going through this. You're, but... you're, you're correct. I was still getting. I was just getting started, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So I, I wasn't fortunate enough, and and I, I don't know what your conversations were with that uh, divorce attorney, but um, to my knowledge, because I, I am not, I am not an attorney in any way, shape, or form. Right. Um, don't have a whole I mean I have some legal knowledge but and have gained much throughout this whole process but in the state of Florida there there is a law that prohibits the one parent from moving outside of a 50 mile radius of the other parent when there are children involved um, if the other parent does not agree to that is that something that you're knowledgeable of? No, I'm not familiar with that. But you know, I always take the kids yeah. into consideration because when you know, I've I've talked to many people that have moved away, and one parent is screwed, and you either move to where that other parent moves, and, uh, and I got some major examples of that, which I haven't gotten to yet. But I mean, I, I understand Wait. it. Right. Okay. So then, then maybe we should rein it in, back it up. Sure. So. Uh, yeah, so, so I can explain my reasoning of wanting to relocate. Um, I was in an abusive relationship. As, in fact, at the beginning of our divorce proceedings, I had an injunction, or a.k.a. order of protection, against my ex-husband okay. for a period of a year. Mm-hmm. Um, during that time, there was a six-month period. So, so the children and I stayed in our marital home while he left Mm -hmm. and during a six month period of time he never once tried to have contact with the children which he could have 
Sure. He has every right as a father right. to have contact with the children, be it supervised or whatever, which yep. I'm sure it would have been through DCF. Not not once, not once did he care okay. to have contact with the children. Okay. Um, when the children were growing up, and it's funny because I'm sorry, I have to reference back to your show with your divorce attorney because I was <laughs> listening and thinking to myself, wow, I find myself in these same situations. Sure. Or, or listening, hearing like, wow, I can really relate to that. Yep. Where she talked about the parent who wasn't involved in the child's life, but going through the divorce process all of a sudden, oh, hey, yes, I want to be involved. I want to be that parent. I want to. I want to have that 50-50 custody. I want to do this. Right. Well, this is a man who's very absent throughout our marriage. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, I, like I said, what going is, through this. What is the custody? What is the percentage? What do you have? Right now, well, I don't know if there's a percentage. I, I haven't calculated the percentage. Okay. But I am, it, 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 we are almost. Uh, uh, a seaboard away, if you will, and that, well, I guess. A what? He's in the south and I'm in the north, if you will. Yes. Um, and our custody arrangement is that he gets every spring break. He gets the full summer. I get, well, actually, one week when the children come out of school, I have one week with them. Who's got the kids? And I, I'm sorry? Who has the kids? Oh, I have primary custody. Okay, okay. I have primary custody. Okay. This is the reason we went to court and, and it was drug out for so long because I wanted and needed primary custody in order for my children to actually have a chance in the future, if you will. What's his problem? What's his problem? Yeah, I mean, be, let, let's put it this way. Just because you guys didn't get along doesn't mean he can't be a good father. Does that well, make sense? let's see. Um, okay, well, the man was more interested... In having affairs throughout okay. our marriage, uh, yeah, um, and affairs that included when I was pregnant and when I was breastfeeding my children, which I did all my children. Um, he had unprotected sex. Okay, but does he want so, to be a father? Right. Huh? Does he want to be a father? Oh no, he says he wants to be a father. Now, now, now that the children are 12 and 14 it's easier that they can take care of themselves yeah i know he Believe doesn't me. have to do any heavy lifting no yeah, big no. no no work has to be done okay. okay yeah i get it i get it if you talk what? about no diapers change anything like that no 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 i did everything and now now that the kids he can sit back and pat them on the head and say oh look at the good job i did raising these children let me ask you a question which, let me ask you a question mm -hmm. what sure. do your kids feel about their father well, this of is course what's they love him. Okay. Yeah, I know. I get they it. They love him because... Sure. He's their father. He's dad. Yeah. And he's not around half the time to be the bad guy. Correct. I get it. I've lived it. My, I, my, my, I lived well, it. Well, my daughter's young enough that she does not remember the abuse sure. in the household. Sure. My son does. He's the older one. He knows. Well... He remembers. I, look... I, I I had experiences with my ex. They she had two children previously, and their father he was too busy getting buzzed and playing golf, and and you know even though he let them down continuously, his kids when they were little, he was still their father, and they longed for his love because he wasn't around enough. It just kind of it's a weird thing because they're not it around is. they're not around to be pissing you off or doing wrong, so they're Superman. Well, of course, and, and, and of course, it doesn't help when dad is, you know, you know, buys their love and affection with, hey, let's go to Disney, let's go do this, let's go do that, because he's got all this money that he doesn't pay in a monthly child support payment. Hmm, we can go on to that discussion if you care to go to that yeah, one. Yeah, we can go anywhere you want to go. I'm well-versed. Okay, well let's discuss let's, that. I'm ready. This, this whole, well, yeah. Well, may, maybe first let's go back to where we were going through this after the injunction. His, he did not want to have anything to do with the kids. They were still young enough that they needed daycare. They needed. They. Uh, I was. Uh, I was working full time, actually, two jobs. Um, and 
I had to pay. I paid the full child support. I paid everything. Once once he was out of the house, right. when I, actually, the injunction began right. because I had to call, call 911 and have him physically removed from the house. I hear you. Um, that, from that point on, he never paid a penny, a cent, a dime, and anything toward any household bill. Oh. Nothing. Okay. I've, it's nothing unusual, but I mean, at the end of the day, well, I understand. That. Listen, I know you're pissed, okay? But remember, regardless of what you go through with your husband or ex, your kids are, you know, get caught in the middle of all this stuff. So you know what I mean? Oh, I know that. I know that. Okay. Oh, believe me. Oh, believe me. It sucks. And, and the reason I needed to get them away from this man and this bad, and and and, and I understand you're a good father. And there are good fathers out there, but this man is not. Okay. He is a bad influence. When yep. my child comes to me before our divorce, before all this happens, and, and I'm working two jobs, and my ex-husband worked a part-time job 20 hours a week, and I would come home, and the house would be de- destroyed because he was too busy out with, you know, girlfriend number right. one, number two, number three, whatever. All right, okay. And I'm coming home, and I'm exhausted, and my house is a mess, and I look at my children, and they're young, you know, but still, I had I had rules and regulations. Hey, you got to, you know, I grew up in a military family. Mm-hmm. You clean up your stuff. You sure. bring your toys out, you clean them up. Sure. And I said to my child one day, hey, why is this stuff all out here? Why haven't you cleaned it up? Dad said, we don't have to listen to you, Mom. Oh, what? That came out of my my child's mouth, and I at that point I said, "Oh, uh-uh. okay, hell no." But but let's go. So let this is the type wait, of wait, wait. I'm with. I know, but let's fast forward. I know what you do for a living, and you're very lucky. I know it probably took a lot of work to get to be who you are, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so you're thank. Uh, listen, I'd be thankful that you have a a, a good. Uh, you have a good uh, title. You, what you what who you are, and the job that you have. You you mm-hmm. you know it's something that's very much needed and it it pays fairly well correct. Um, currently yes. When I was in Florida, no, okay. I, I worked in, in a public service capacity, so I was really not making the money. It was a fulfilling job, but it was in a public service capacity, so I was unable to um, pay our entire uh, household bill. Okay, you let, know, let the, me make I sure. Not- let me make sure I'm right. Mm-hmm. You're in the healthcare industry, correct? Correct. Okay. So, you know, I know you work nights and things like that, but the thing is, so, again, I know all the stuff, what he doesn't do, but you're fortunate enough to where you can pick up the slack. You could carry the ball all on your own if you had to, which you probably are. You are. You are. (laughs) No, I have to say, not if I had to. I had to. Yeah, you had to. Okay. Even even in... Within the marital home, I pretty much carry the ball. Okay, well, you know what? You hear, and I hate to say this, and I really do, because I had to hear it in court for my own self. But, you know, you had kids with them. You kind of, mm-hmm. uh, you, you knew what you got when you when you got them, don't, didn't you? You didn't have to marry her, Whoa. did you? You didn't have to marry her. I, I know, that's, that's what they, it. yeah, you had to hear that. That's a whole nother piece of ball of well, yeah, yeah, I'm just echoing the words that came out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that you you know something attracted you to the man. You didn't have one. You didn't have two, but you had three children, regardless of again well, the misfortune. Well, correct, correct. Okay. And 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 let me go on to say that um, as a healthcare professional and somebody who has um, the ability to actually place a diagnosis on a person, although he hasn't actually been seen by a psychiatrist because he would refuse. And he's not going to. He's not going to. had a, you know, whatever you call it, I don't know if you can call it a, through the divorce process, but he needed to be diagnosed and I should have, but that was an additional cost and I was You're, already. Yeah, it's a lot of money. And bills when, and at, everything else, but he has antisocial personality disorder, well, if you've ever heard of that. Well, he sounds like he's pretty friggin' social the way you're describing him. Oh, he is social, and that's part of the antisocial personality disorder. They are very charming. They are very social. They are very outgoing. They 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 fool you with their you know their outwardly appearance, but inside they have no regard for other others' feelings. Others they have no regard for the law. We oh we could go into that too. He's had um, let's see. So while I was nine months 
pregnant with my son, <laughs> who's my second born. Right. Um, nine months and, and, and literally gave birth three days later. The man who he was working in a restaurant as a server was pulled over for a DUI. Yeah, that could happen. And, and had in possession of marijuana. It could happen. And I had to go in the middle of the night, I think, I believe it was one or two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. My daughter, I had to leave my daughter behind, you know, who was at that point in time, what, a year and a half. I had to leave her because I had to run and save him from the side of the road because they were going to take him to jail. But they said that if I came to pick him up, he could come home with me and he would just have to go to his court appearance. Right. So I got pregnant, nine months, waddling all the way down, going to pick up my husband on the side of the road where he's, he's being arrested. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, so he, he got off on that. He, he, he was charged with the, the drug possession, marijuana possession, but got off on the DUI because, yeah. you know, that's yeah. always the worst, the worst one. Right. So at the time, I was pregnant and married and thought, well, hey, I guess that's a good thing. Yay. Since then, since our divorce, he's had another DUI. Sure. Um, that was right during our divorce. Okay. And then recently, within the within a five-year period, he had a another DUI, but again, with possession of marijuana and paraphernalia, which he copped to that plea and got off on the DUI. So... So this, this is a man that I feel is not fit. You know, you want to bring into a, I, 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 I really listen to that show with your divorce attorney because I, I want to understand all these things. Like people always talk about their divorces and how awful and this and that. And, and most people are reasonable. Like you're, you know, and I've tried That's to a be big word. reasonable. I try sure. to be reasonable. Okay. But when I feel I have to worry for the safety of my children... I, I'm sorry. I, I then tend to reel my reason back in and say no. Um, there is a reason for con reason. Not re I'm, I mean, I think I'm being reasonable by saying there's a reason for concern here. Right. If he has these charges against him, I mean, I understand. And I was told by my divorce attorney. Oh, because I said, well, look, he's abusive. The order of protection. Well, he didn't hit the kids. I said, yes, I understand that. True. That anger was directed at me. Right. I understand that. Right. Doesn't mean he's not a not a good dad. There I understand go. that. Correct. Still should be taken should still be taken into consideration. Anger issues, things you know, should still be considered taken into consideration. No. But when no. you are now being charged with you know offense after offense, I know. But listen to me. What he does yeah. in his spare time, again, he got arrested, I get it. You know, it doesn't look good. But if he's doing it while he has the kids, oh, absolutely. You know what? That's Well, do I know? How do I, I, I know? I don't I don't know. You you can only hope. The thing is what he does in his spare time, who he dates, and what he does now that you're divorced is none of your friggin' oh, I get it. it doesn't it, concern you know, me. Right. But, but when he has your kids, that's a big deal. But until he yes, gets popped doing something stupid with your kids. Unfortunately, you know, that's like, you know, you don't want to have to hear something like that, but that's the way it goes. I mean, you, you know, it's like just the way it is. Do your kids want to go see him when it's time to go see him? Half the time, no. Mm. Actually, most of the time, no. Wow. Well, yeah. that's a whole different story then. I mean, you know, I mean, really? Or are you putting these thoughts in, in their heads? I'm, I, no. I, I got to ask you. Not. Because... You know no, what? I am not the wor yeah, because the worst okay. thing, the worst thing, he, and if you listen to that one show, which is only a fraction of the whole, you know, whole consensus of of the reality of the whole deal, uh, you know what? You know the he said she said bullshit. It just you know you ruin the kids with all that stuff, and some people don't realize. You know, you're talking out loud, you're pissed, and they hear everything. No, no, okay. no. My children understand when I when they say. Mom, hey, can we do this? And I say, oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't afford that. Right. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I can't afford that. Right. That's nice. I'm sorry. No, no. I really would love to that we could, you know, I could do this for you, but I'm sorry. I can't afford that. But dad, when they go to dad, this is what they see. Dad takes them to, um, you know, girlfriend number 20 something uh, that they've has been trooped through their lives. 
that they, he takes them to a penthouse suite that costs, you know, 600 bucks a night. How does he do and that? And that kind of money. Yeah, you know, they, they are pretty smart. They're pretty perceptive, and they see that. And they, they they tell me, they're like, oh, yeah, we did this, we did that. And and then they go, oh, and they, you know, they, they say, and any time, nowadays, this was back in the beginning of our whole process. They would ask, mom, can I do this? Mom, can we, can we have, can I have this? Can we do this? Now they say, oh, no, mom, that costs too much money. We know, you know, they'll say, oh, um, because they'll say, well, I wanted to participate in X, Y, Z. I say, well, you know. I, it, it, tell me how much it is. Oh, no, no, no. I already said I can't because it, it costs too much money. They, they already know right. not to ask because it's not, it's, it's already, you know, it's not, I don't want to say ingrained in them or anything, but I, it kind of now it makes me mad. Well, you know what? I'm actually, they know I'm making struggle. some good money. Okay. When you have it, you can do it. The thing is they are, they are perceptive and they are worried about me. And then they see on the flip side of the coin where dad is, is extravagant with his money. He but, spends his money. He blows his but money. But dad's, he does this. dad's only he there a couple cars, of, a couple he buys of weeks. He buys a Corvette. He buys this. He yeah, buys that. Uh, you and know. Yet, I don't and know. Yet can only. Well, I'm sorry. Listen, I don't know what you pay for your child support, and I know you only have one child. But when when a man who's making some about what I'm making, and you know I'm in the healthcare field, and I make some damn good money. Um, can only cough up $629 a month for two children? That's than, pretty pathetic. I, I know, but it's better than nothing because there's a lot of people that pay nothing. Oh, well, see, I would prefer that he paid nothing because then I could take him to court and, and, and completely cut ties and, and, and remove uh, his... You can't. You, listen, <laughs> listen, sweetheart, you can't because at the end of the day, you think you can cut ties, but your kids are, are in the middle and you're, you're cut, your ties are cut. You can hate him to... Look, I haven't talked to my ex. We oh, have, no, and, no, no, no. And I understand that, but you know what? Here's the thing. I could send them when they want to go. When they want to go. True. Because I have never... There, let me tell you one thing. You know, you hear my anger because I thought this was for me, a, a forum for me to be able to unburden. And it is. Apparently not. It well, is. apparently not. It's apparently not because you think I'm, I, this is not no. the unburdening I do in front of my children. No, 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 no. I'm just so giving you the, the other side. So. I'm, I'm giving. So wait a minute. Okay, I'm waiting. I have, told, I have told my children from the moment we moved away from their dad. From the moment I said, if there ever comes a time that you want to go live with your dad, please let me know because I will not stop you. If you want to live with your dad, okay. then you just tell me. I said, I will be sad. I will be, you know, it will make me, it will make me very sad, but sure. I will not stop you sure. because if that's what you want. That's what you feel in your heart is right. Then of course I'm going to do what's best for you. Right. And I always look out for the best interest of my children. And you should. Yeah. But like I said, it, it, this this is something that can't be discussed in a one one segment. I discuss it every I discuss it every week. I mean, or whenever oh, somebody know. wants to get yeah. verbal. I don't know how much you watch me, but the thing is, I don't. The, when I did this live Facebook apparently thing, apparently not enough. Apparently, apparently not, not enough. enough. Let me tell you something. You go back yes. into you go back into all that YouTube stuff. My old stuff was nothing but strictly surviving divorce and single parenting. That's how it started. But when I started the live Facebook thing, I tried to broaden the horizon. In my opinion, this was a spin-off show that was going to just be something different, and I was going to still do the divorce and single parenting thing, multi-camera interviews and all that kind of stuff. I had to slow it down because life got too busy. But the bottom line is, well, I talk about a lot of stuff in, a, in every situation you could think about. Go look at it. There's hundreds, oh. hundreds of clips over the in, in on YouTube. Okay, well, so say, hey, would you like to discuss the state of healthcare in our country today? Well, we could, we could do that. But that's <laughs> we can do whatever you want to do. This is the the no, thing about I, the. I, I, I know you're kidding. That is a joke. I that know is it is, joke. but the problem, the thing is, this this show is called Life with Peter G. It's about life. If you don't, if you're pissed off because your dog is rubbing his ass on the carpet, and you want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Okay. See, I I was under the impression it was still more that 
divorce people. If you want, if you want. Uh, but this live show is anything you... My whole thing about life is that I've been very thankful and grateful that I've had people in my life. I have a, a lot of people in my life that when shit's going wrong, I spew. I let it out. I don't hold it in. And I led by example. Well, exactly. Well, I told the story well, last week. Last week I told a story of the last 10 years of my life. I lived with an old man that I took care of because I moved out of my house from divorce and I didn't want to commit to something else. And it ended up me being here way longer than I ever thought about being here. And and I just, I tell life. It's just life. But that's the yeah. thing. I let it out and I lead by example. So like everybody who thinks that, you know, I'm driving Maseratis or whatever the hell they think they're doing, it's like... We're just people. So we all have problems. I don't care if it's about $10 or $10 million. It's a problem. Talk about it. Get it out there. I promise you there's people that relate to your story. You're not alone. Yeah. It's well, very, very similar. you you got the I, same I, issues. I, I by example, too. I, I, every day I try to be an example to my children. This well, is, this and is what the, we have to do. We and they'll to, know. They'll, they'll, they'll see it. If you're being the, the person, you don't have to tell them, oh, your dad sucks and this and that. They'll see it. They're old enough now to know. No. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. They're perceptive. They see it on their own. Okay. That's why they, while they love their dad. And they should. A lot of still times, dad. you know what they say to me? They come to me and say, man, why do we have to spend the whole summer with that? We would like to spend the time with you, some time with you. We also would like to spend time with our friends. You know, we we, we want to do these things. Is this a court order? Uh, yes, unfortunately. Well, you know, you can always go back to court. I yeah, and that involves a lot of money. So well, the kids are old enough. She, kids are old mm-hmm. enough to speak for themselves. As much as I don't like it, and the kids tangled up in it, you know, things change. It's like sometimes you have to change. In fact, I have a friend, prime example. He suffered for 11 years with a bad court decision, and just the last week he finally got a little bit of justice because time changes and the kids got involved and the kids had to have an attorney to voice their opinion because he was suffering getting the short end of the stick and he was a good man and a good father. This was a different opposite case from what, from you. Right. I'm just saying there's right. good, and good and bad of both sides. There's shit women and shit men and amazing women yep. and amazing men. Yep. You know. I totally agree with that. I'm all about the kids. All I care about is that your children don't get, don't get all screwed up. Absolutely. Absolutely. And let me tell you, 100% from the time we left that household and moved, you know, many, many states away, yeah. there has been a drastic improvement in my kids' attitude, their schooling, their, their grades, their, their just outlook on life. They're right. just so much happier. It's tough. It's t- moving away. I've I, even when I was in court, I saw an example of somebody who, the, in California, the the wife moved to Texas, and and it's hard. It's it's you know that's that. Uh, thank, I thank my lucky stars and my gods for for not having to go through that because that's a tough one. You know, you're you. It's like you make a decision. It's like either I follow you if you had the 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 majority of the custody, and I either follow you and relocate to be next to my kids. To, you know, to, I go to the end of the earth for my daughter because my daughter's my daughter. Right, right, right. But it sucks. Well, look, well, see, see, this man's not, he's not inclined to do such a thing like that. Although his family, his family is actually very close to where I live. His, his whole entire family. He has no family where he is. He has nobody. Hmm. And he very easily could move up here, but no selfish reasons. Well, what's he doing so special he over has- there that he can't do over there? <laughs> you, can well, screw, you, can, guess- you can screw other women anywhere. Yeah, well, I guess he enjoys the pool of women he has there. I have no idea. Okay. It's, it's a warm climate, and they're scantily clad. clad. How's uh, that? Does, does that make yeah, sense to you? Yeah, yes Versus and, yes and a, no. A, a northern situation where they probably... Tend to clothe more and, ha- and and put on a few more pounds. The, the okay? other the other white meat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just I'm just telling you. Okay. That's the guy's on a street. I guess I don't know. Why did you have to move away? The out of, why did you have to move so far away? Well, I moved up because my sister is one state below me, um, in a major city, and I moved there initially. Mm-hmm. Took a job. Mm-hmm. 
um, and realized, hey, wow, this is really, really expensive. Like, I can't, I can't afford to ever buy a home here. Mm-hmm. So then got a really, really great opportunity with a um, hospital that's affiliated with the state college and or university. And um, now I'm in a place that I feel I eventually, <laughs> hopefully I can buy a house. I'm, I'm still renting. That's okay. But yeah, it, well, no, it kind of stinks. No, <laughs> I get it. But, but look. At the end of the day, your kids are fed, they're clothed. Oh, they're, they're fed, they're clothed. Yeah, I you're okay. I, I get okay. it. Everybody wants the dream, but you'll get there. Re- the rebuild is a bitch, okay? It is. It is. I lost, you know, my... my <laughs> ooh, let's not go there. No, I walked we out of mine because, because of the mere fact of that whole relocation process. I walked out with no retirement. Nothing. Like, I 15000 I had $15,000 that we had built... I'd been with that man for, we were together for 18 years. That's a long time. A long time. Okay, but see what I mean? That This is when the courts, they look at this, they go, okay, 18 years. Well, I could have, listen, if I'm I had listening. stayed, yeah. if I stayed in the same state, right. I could have fought for half of the retirement, for half of you know, his future pension. I thought you said he had a part-time a job. Of- well, th- that was at that point. Now he's full time, and he he, he works. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's a nationwide, a nationwide company. But he works for UPS. Okay. He was a part time employee at the time. Now he's a full time driver. He's been a full time driver, mm-hmm. and he is making very good money. That's okay. Okay. Seems and like seems like the only kind of driving. He's driving you nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. Or driving drunk. Hey, come on now. Uh, Don't forget that one. You I, like to drive drunk or drive me nuts? I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. So he, um, now I even lost my train of thought. It, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but he, yeah, I, I, I don't even listen. L- listen to me real, real carefully. I mean, look, here's, here's the key. The key to your success, okay? You got to stop. War, like, don't let that eat you away about what he doesn't do. Mm-hmm. And you just got to do what you do. And you love your oh, kids. I've been doing that for five years. Okay. I've been doing this for five uh, years. Okay. But it's see. It's just that what? I'm at a point in my life where I have made the decision that I. And, and it was in our divorce decree that I could not go back to court for a period of five years. Because, oh, that's what it was, because I was moving away. That I had, I had to make so many concessions, concessions, concessions in order to move. What do you mean? It, in order for the judge to say, hey, yes, I agree that she can have primary custody to move away from out of the state, that I had to say, okay, I agree to... Uh, I pay for every time that I send the children mm. to him for their visitation. Right. Um, I pay the I pay the cost. Wow. I pay the cost. Well then, I told you my piddly little monthly whatever. I don't even. I don't need pittance. The pittance I get. Um, and I have a fourteen-year-old son, so if that's he, if, probably his. Uh, that's probably his, his his grocery budget. If you know, he's but. if he's working for UPS, he probably makes mm-hmm. a decent living. I know it costs you more money to go into court and revise things, but you know what? It might be worth it in the long run. You know, you say, you know what? Times. Oh are- no! I, no! I'm. I, I, oh, no! No! This is the year. <laughs> I, this is my year. All right. This is my year. It's my I'm year. Going back, I, it's my year. It's my year. Okay. Because I'm going to go back and 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 it, I need more child support and I need to and, and I'm not being unreasonable. They are teenage Dang. children. Right, right. They're starting. To they require yeah. Yeah, things. I know. I know. They require things, I and I can't provide everything because I am trying to build. Right now, I am trying to build my retirement. So. I have so much money going into my retirement so that I'm not left homeless on the street when I'm old that I don't, my, my actual take-home pay, although I make decent money, is not 
great. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it. Uh, again, so the, I'm I, trying I, to I, build for my future. I'm trying to do something that I, so I have something. I, I mean, I pay our bills. We are we are we are okay, but I can't I, I can't afford the extra expenses. I can't afford this. I, I can't afford the trip to you know whatever the things that they want to do. Yep. Like, like oh oh here's a here's a great example. So <laughs> Mr. Mr. Man's father says, oh I like the kids to get involved in scouts. Scouts. Oh. Yeah, they well, still they have that. It's a little. He's too freaking scouts old for now. that shit now. Oh no, 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 no! They do it around here. They do scouts, and and they love it. Okay. I, I said okay because their friends are doing scouts, and I'm like, okay, and it's good. Built character, you know. It's it's a good organization. So they learn discipline. Not that I don't give them discipline because I do, but um, I th- I think they just filed for for bankruptcy because of all the lawsuits they're getting. Oh, oh, don't, 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 don't start with me. I'm just I, saying. I, I did the bankruptcy thing right out of my divorce. I'm talking about the Boy Scouts. Huh? I'm talking about the Boy Scouts. Oh, Boy Scouts, Boy Scouts filed bankruptcy. Yeah, get yeah, they're getting sued oh. for all these, you know, things. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. The, oh, well, I'm, see, I'm, I'm new. I'm new. I'm, I'm not. I'm a scout mom. Uh, well, all, I, all I know, listen, all I know is, there is a nice community. I, my, my my kids, since we've moved here, we've been here almost three years. Yeah. They've met really nice people. I've met their. We have. I have a nice community of people, families, parents, and the kids. We all get along. They help me out, knowing that I'm a single, single working mom. mom. Sure. They 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 transport my kids to and fro. My kids are both in bands. They're in, you know, they're in different activities, bands, and my son's in jazz band. They're both in good, scouts. They're good, doing all these things. Good. And, and, and people are willing to reach out and help me because That's good. I don't have anybody to help me here. So they do because they, 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 they value my kids' participation. Good, so good. They are, they're helping, you okay. know, it's good. But anyway, so here's the deal, the scouts thing. My ex says, oh. I want my kids in scouts. Okay. I said, oh, okay, that's nice. I said, you know what? I I got them in band um, five years ago. I, 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 you know, both bought them both instruments. Actually, I had to have two instruments for my daughter. She started an orchestra. What's she playing? Excuse me. Orchestra first, viola. Then she decided she wanted to play flute. So I had to buy two instruments for her, and my son has been playing clarinet. All the while. Okay. So, I said, you know, I, I had to put the bill for all this stuff. I said, now you want the kids and scouts. Hey, that's wonderful. I'm all for it. That's great. But you know what? Can you help me pay for it? Yeah. You know what he, you, you know what he said to me? Oh, no. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. I can't do. Oh, no. Can't do that. Well, then. then. I said, well, then I guess I can't be in scouts. That, that, I left it at that. Next thing you know, he says, "Oh well, my mother is willing to pay for scouts." Do you talk? I said, oh, okay. Are you friends his with mom. his parents? Eh, no. Okay. Well, then let <laughs> no. them pay something. I mean, if they want to pay, they pay. Well, the no. Grand- oh, oh. I get. I got a fifty dollar check from grandma. Was it? Well, check. I mean, you know, for grandma, I, I remember getting tipped a nickel when I was a paper boy from an old lady. I mean, they think that's a lot of money. It's <laughs> times are hard. Be thankful. But the thing is, you know, what's that going to do? You, you got to go back to the old man. It, it exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't pay for squat when their uniforms are one hundred fifty dollars a piece. So I'm like, um, yeah, I know. And every yeah. other week, they they need some. There's some some kind of donation. Something. Something. Yeah, oh, yeah. don't look, don't get me started on there. You want to get those know. badges? Those badges cost and, money. And, Badges. Well, let's. Oh, let's uh, go into. Well, I'm I'm up north, so you have to have those sub zero sleeping bags. They aren't cheap. Uh-huh. Mm-mm. Let me yeah. t- let me tell you something. Tonight, I caught my one of my super fans, uh, Melanie. She is just like texting up a storm, listening to you. Uh, you got her goat. Uh, she's my. She's, <laughs> Yeah, oh boy. yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She's she's listening, and she is. I, I can't even read this stuff. It's like that's scrolling by so quick. But you, eventually, through the week and and all the reruns, you're going to have somebody's ear. Here's the thing I'm going to tell you: you can drive yourself yeah. nuts, and you can get make yourself get older with all this crap. But the bottom line is, you just have to love your children, and your children will oh. see. I hate it when I'm dumping on my daughter because of my struggle or this and that and it's like but then again I let her know that life is not 
you know, a bowl of cherries. There. It's hard. No, and, life isn't there. Yeah, you, you have to you have to make your you have to make your own happiness. You do. And at the end of the day, but love wins. It's like it's like I you know I, I, you, you can, I know people that li- like Hispanic families, especially out here in California, we, you know, the, they live in a two bedroom apartment with s- seven people and they're happy. And yet you got they're some happy. people filthy rich and they're miserable. Oh no, listen, my, my kids and I, we are, we okay. are happy and, and, and that, every day, let that's me tell a gift. You, okay. Every day before I go on, go for my shift at work. My kids come up to me, hug me really tight That's... and say, I love you, Mom. Please have a good shift. Yeah. And then when they're going to bed, they say the same thing. They text me, I love you, Mom. Please have a good shift. Okay. That's priceless. And It is priceless. And I know how lucky I am mm. because I know I have their love and I know I have their respect. You do. They you watch know? you. They watch you bust your ass. I mean, believe me, this is the stuff they're gonna. And you don't have to like, oh, your father, this and that. They, it's, it's 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 unspoken. They see it. It's it's like, uh, uh, well, exactly. It's it's not. I it, don't have to say it. Yeah, exactly. Oh no no no. Show me, you know don't what the tell me. Thing is? I was gonna say the funniest thing. And let me tell you really quick, and I'll, and I'll let you speak. I'm sorry because I know I'm trying to. I'm I'm, I'm like taking over the show here. But well, you're not taking over I, the show. The thing is, you told me you didn't want to be on, but about thirty minutes, and so far, like we're having no problem with this. We could be on for two hours. <laughs> I well, knew it. I said, I said during my divorce, and here's the funniest thing. And I, I I sit back and say it to myself now, but during my divorce, during all this crap that was going on. I just sat back and said, because my, my attorney would be like, oh, well, hey, what about this? What about that? I said, oh, no. I said, I'm just I'm just kind of letting the lead out in the rope. I'm just letting the lead out because he's going to hang himself with his own noose. Maybe. That's all I said. Just right. letting it out, man. Right. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't have to do anything. He, he, he hangs himself. Like, you know, that's, that's, that's the whole thing. I, okay. I let my kids. Make their own judgments, make their own opinions, right. see what's happening. You know, the, of course, they're they're caught up in the glamour of going to Disney, going to here, mm, going okay. there. That's you know, okay. all those, woo, woo, woo. Let them let them but go do that. Home, they, they should get oh, to do oh, that. No, listen, I'm happy for it. Good. Believe me, the Good. first time I was like, wow, that's awesome Good. because they're having fun. I can't afford to to do that for them. Yeah, so but great. Still. It's inside yeah you know it bugs me a little bit but i, I, I did I, not voice that to them i just was like oh i hope you guys had a great time and they were like yeah we did but then they'd see me sitting down over the bill trying to pay and doing this you know and and they're sensitive to that with me and i and i you know so they know they see both sides of the coin they disney, see what's happening. disney world is one or two days you raising them is day in day out Yep. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about and it. And like I said, I I, I, t- I ask constantly. Do, do, do you want? Who do you want to live with? I mean, I'm never it's, gonna. You ask. don't have to keep do asking. You have that. any desire? Well, no. I say, if you have a desire to live with your father, please let me know. They, that, 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 that's that's what you don't you. want to do that because believe me, when they're there long enough, that, that he can't keep that thrill up. You can't. Well, they, you know what they say to me, Mom? You know, it's fun when we go there, but you really love us. That's what they say. You I'm, really love us. I'm sure he loves them, too, but he's just wired differently, and he's, it, it, you know, again, in the long run, could he, he can't keep that up. You just can't. You either, if he could have, he would have. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's 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 a quick thrill, which is good. It gives them something to do, something different. Look, my my ex wife provides things that I cannot provide. There's no doubt about it. I have no I have no qualms with that. And my daughter gets the best of both worlds. Let them take in what they take in. Don't take it so personally because I know how easily it is to sit here and just say fuck you. He drives me crazy. You know what I mean? But but at the end of the day, you're the only one wrecking yourself. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. I just swore. <laughs> you know, because because it's the only way to get. Oh, the... I, I thought I thought bombs were going to be. No, no, I, I try to control it a little bit, but I mean, at the end of the day, it hits me very deep. I understand this stuff. I really do, and I'm all about keeping your children from from getting warped. 
from the the he said she said the push the pull the well, ch- you know at the end you, they're getting yes. older you're losing your time is fading really quick just love them that's all they'll see it oh I do okay and you know what the best thing I ever did was to move away because that 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 kept them from being if you say warped that that put them into a new neutral environment well maybe it's not quite neutral neutral but for the most part i guess neutral. i don't know you know i mean it's hard it's well, you're not with us, but it's it's as neutral as i can make it because that's my goal to not i don't want them to have that burden i don't want that i i try not to put them in the middle or have that burden you know that's my constant goal in my own mind to yeah. not do that does that make sense? Does it happen sometimes? No. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. We, all, we all fail at that. Come on. You're it's, divorced. It's, it, you understand? Yeah, it's personal. It's, it's, it's hard. But, yeah. but it is a conscious, I make a conscious effort every day to not okay. do that. Right. So Here's the deal. Uh, for somebody who didn't want to talk to me for about thirty minutes, I just feel like you know we can t- go from one subject to another. But unfortunately, I want I, you know we're, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, I I appreciate. Look, I got to tell you, I'm going to be really honest with you. I didn't know what I was going to get with you because it seemed like it was so difficult just to get to this point. And then today, when you're pulling some uh, entertainment attorney uh, things on me, like, do I need to sign a disclosure? And it's like, for, for what? You're just a caller. I don't know. Okay, well, the uh, thing was, it was like, just friggin' relax, will you? <laughs> you know, I, th- you're going to appreciate this in the long run. I promise you, you will. It's like, number one, you got to get a, blow a little steam. And to me, that is priceless. But on top of that, you got to talk to and, and, and bleed a bunch of stuff that everybody goes through. I promise you, you are, you're not pioneering in this. And a lot of people, it, through the week, through the months, through the years that this show lingers on, you know, anonymously, you were so concerned about that. Like anybody, <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. I'm telling you. What you're doing is you're letting people know, like, wow, this isn't just me going through this. I, this is such a common story. It really is. But it's a very deep and personal, and it affects you emotionally it changes you as a person so mm-hmm. so you did a good thing i i honestly didn't even real know if i was going to get to this point because even as i'm doing multiple things because we're down like when we're getting ready to gear up for this show even though this is mickey mouse in my opinion for where we're going i'm busy and i'm trying to you know talk to you because i'm worried you're telling me i might fall asleep i haven't slept and it's like don't do this to me you know what i mean you're doing a good, you did a good, I drank coffee. Okay, you did a good thing is what I'm trying to tell you. We finally got you. You did a good thing. This is going to echo through the masses of the world, the Internet. I got people in Brazil, the, the Africa's, I mean, that listen to this stuff, believe it or not. Okay. And you, okay. What, you, what you did is you just to help people like who don't have a voice think that they're drowning in all this crap. You just gave yeah. to, to the community, to the world, like you're not alone. I can't say that enough. Yeah. So, so no. you did, so you did a good thing. In in the future, Thank you. in the future, if you want to talk about other things, because I mean, originally when you contacted me, you wanted a bitch about your ex. I remember that. I don't forget. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden, you said, "I have a lifetime of things I want to get off my chest." And I'm going, "Holy crap! Am I dealing with a crazy girl? I didn't know what I had." But well, no. I mean, I have. Yeah, there's, okay. there's a lot. I know. I, mean, it's... I, I, I alluded to and possible next topic might be loss of a child. That's that, that's that... The, Let me tell you something. Uh, that's, that is a tough one, and, and, and I wouldn't wish yeah. that on anyone. And uh, to, again, if, uh, in time, if you want to talk about that, I'll gladly have you back on because you're not the only one who's gone through that. Exactly. In March? For me? Yeah. For me, I was going to say, for me, it's been 13 years. In fact, the anniversary is coming up on the 27th. Yeah. Well, so, um, yeah, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm so, I'm we, emotional because of course it she's is. my baby. Right, of course but, it um, is. Look. It's, it's something that people, you haven't gone through it, you don't understand, um, hmm. but it's something that's so important to talk about because people... It's 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 so difficult. It, it is so difficult. I, uh, again, and, and and I get it. Even though I can tell you, I can imagine. I can't imagine. You can't. 
can't. No, you can't. can't. And, you can't. And, and, you, and you wish, the only thing you can hope is you wish nobody would have to go through what you went through. That's a whole other topic. And I'm telling you that in the future, if you want to talk about that and you're willing to go there, I'll go there with you because you know what? You'll be helping others by sharing. Exactly. So you're doing a good thing, okay? Because I got to tell you, I didn't know, I, I really didn't know what I was going to get with you. And I said, this might be a freaking crazy <laughs> night. But I I'm, am not a crazy person, but I said, when I have a lifetime become, I've, I've, I've been through a lot. Okay. I've experienced yeah. a lot. And, There's a lot of things. I can talk on <laughs> so many different topics. And, and you know, it's, it's <laughs> we'll have to. You have to give me a list, and and we'll you know we'll touch on them. But and you can be a permanent resident. But for right now, I think you did a good thing. Okay. A lot of people can understand and appreciate this. Believe me, I just had two weeks ago. We had a woman who's five hundred half a million dollars into a custody battle. You know, and, and it's like it's insane. It's friggin' insane. A half a million dollars in attorneys and still going and over. So you think you got it rough? I mean, I, I I can't even imagine. Well, if you're in California, those people probably have the money to spend that. You no, know, I, no, I was, no. I'm not. She wasn't in California. She was. Oh. Don't think that you have the money because you're in California. California costs a lot to be here. Oh, I know that. I know. I've had friends that live in California, but I I, I was I I paid in a, a span a span of a year and a half. I paid thirty. 30 and then I paid more over no actually yeah that would be it's way stupid. more than that, yeah, I know it's 30, money 30, but I only made annually I made 45 grand oh I so get it the, I get it you heard you that know? you, you like, watched what? the attorney with Jill Warren we talked about that it's like all that money could and most of the time yeah. people go wow that's a lot of money that could have gone to your children yes it could have but it didn't because of the bullshit you got to go through you know it's just the way it is but you know what what my feeling was it did go for the children because I got them out of that toxic okay, environment. Okay. So, them somewhere better. so then remember so, that. You know, now their lives, they have a future. They have, they have a chance. They have, my son is so excited for his college career. He, I mean, he has his, he has his eyes and his sights set on. Good. Harvard, MIT. Okay. He already said, oh no, mom, Stanford's out of my league, but Harvard, MIT and Carnegie Mellon. Because so, I, hey. I, I tell my daughter, I said you, I said you have to get good grades and you got to get scholarships because your daddy's life that what it once was, I'm poor now. I said you, you know, right now, and I do that because she needs to work hard and I'll ba always have her back. But the bottom line is, it's expensive to go to school. So I said you're going to have well, to do exactly. your job. Oh no, no, I told this. I, I listen. I already told my son the very same thing. I said if you want to go to these prestigious colleges. Yeah, better get a full ride scholarship. Okay. Otherwise, through my employment, I have seventy five percent off the state college tuition. So hey, you always have a good place to go. Right. You know, you got a good fallback plan. All right. And Let's... I'm working to provide that for you. And you'll keep on doing it because that's what you do. That's what parents do that love their children. Yep. Michelle. Yep. You've uh, almost been on for an hour with me. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah. Let me let you go. No, it, yes. I love you for finally coming through. You almost drove me nuts because <laughs> it's very difficult to do this when I book people and, you know, I try to get things going and you don't understand the struggle of what it is to do what I do, but that's okay. It's not your job. My job is to get somebody on of worth to tell their story, and I thank you for finally coming on and staying up late. I know it's very late where you're at, and, and thank you on behalf of my fans my friends and my family who sit here and, and and watch this through the days and the weeks. This show will echo on, and I hope that you'll get something out of it by re-watching the show. And don't be ashamed to be what you are, okay? Well, thank you. Okay. Yes. All right. And I'm sorry, and I am a woman, so I do to run on. Well, you know, I hear that a lot, but I'll, believe me, I'll stop you if, if it's worth, if I need to stop you. You did want wonderfully, and I appreciate it. And again, you 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 don't under realize just by spewing what you're spewing how many people you may touch in the future, and, and that's a real big deal. So you were so worried about, you know, not jeopardizing this and that, and it's like nobody knows. It's a, People talk, so many people crap on Facebooks and this and that. You're anonymous on this show and you shared a piece of your life that's a very important piece of your life with people who wish 
they had something to relate to, and now they do. So you do, it's a good thing. Okay. All right. All well, right. Thank you, and I guess I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah. I guess you will, and we we can always pick another subject a few months down the road. But uh, you, you're always welcome to come on and talk about this stuff because. Uh, I, I have a huge silent majority of people that wish they could have that. For some reason, everybody's nervous to come on. I don't get it. It's not that hard. But but you know what? It, it, you're doing a public service, so uh, I love you for it, and thank you so much, okay? Okay. All right. You have a good night, and I hope you watch the show, and, and I hope you, you realize how much good you just did. For well, you, thank you for, very much. For, for you, too. For you, too. Believe it or not. Sometimes, oh, no, I know. Yeah, I, when, I got it. Off my chest. Yeah, what I, you, you I'm did. Feeling, I'm feeling 10 pounds lighter right now. Great. Well, I, I don't lose too much weight, but the thing is, I, I do, if you <laughs> if you listen to the show, sometimes you don't hear yourself talking, and you may it may actually even help yourself just by listening to yourself. So I I, I suggest it. Okay. All right. I'll All right. Do that. All right. Good night. I love you. Good night. Love you too. All right. Bye. Bye. It's the same story, different people. Kind of the same story, they're all different. You have no idea how many months of going back and forth with this woman to try to get this whole show together with her. And I got to the point where I'm going, maybe she's nuts. It was just difficult. And then she's questioning me and worried about anonymity, holy moly, anonymity. But I'm going, what do you care? I go, nobody knows you're on the show. She goes, I, I don't want I want to protect my kids and this and that. It's like nobody's listening. Another overrun show. I'm many, many, many minutes over, right? Doesn't matter. All that matters is that the point gets across. So Michelle came on, talked about some struggles between her children, divorce and custody, the same old thing. See, that's the thing. My shows originally started with me and the struggles of divorce and single parenting because I didn't realize how detrimental it is. And then we broke off and we start talking about other things in life and everything comes full circle. All of a sudden I'm getting hit by like, it's the most important subject. And it is an important subject and I'm right there for you. But I need you to share these shows. Forget that it was my birthday that I'm asking my birthday wish to grow. Forget that. But I did like my birthday mix. I hope you caught the birthday mix. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> and you know, and again, people will catch this stuff sooner or later. I don't care if you watch it live. I don't care if you watch it when it's rebroadcast. As long as you watch it, I'm not going away. This is important stuff to me. And I love what I do. I do. It's important. It's like I go to bed feeling, you know what? Somebody just got feeling a little better. And that's important because life's a bitch. I don't take life for granted. I don't. It's a gift. People were, again, were wishing me happy birthday. Hope it's a great one. It's a great one, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're all here. Love you. But I've got to get out of here now because they're giving me the, like, all right, we let you run your mouth. And, and the show went over. I knew it. I Because she, she was like, uh, you know what? I don't want to talk more than 30 minutes. And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I know better. We could have probably did a friggin', oh, hang on one second. Just when you think it's safe. Just when you think it's safe. <laughs> I, I just call him to bust your chops. Well, okay, take a number. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Who is this caller? Uh, who do you think? I, uh, okay, so start a busting. You got go, go for it. I got my cup on. Uh, well, good. You're gonna need it. Okay. You, bar- you, you, you borrowed my birthday greeting and used it. I did. <laughs> yeah. I don't. It's your birthday. It's your, oh, it's my birthday. Oh yeah, like I but that was, it was. Did you originate that? I didn't know that. Well, no, I didn't originate that. Oh. I just borrowed a 50 Cent song and, and used it for your uh, oh, dude. late birthday. Let me tell you something. <laughs> they told me, they go, let's put let's put a birthday mix together. I go, nah, I go, I don't know. That sounds kind of stupid. They go, I know. <laughs> let's put a birthday mix together. <laughs> so so we did that, and I'm going, this is kind of dumb, don't you think? They go, no, it's going to be great. And it's like, uh, 
<laughs> it's dumb and you didn't call me? Yeah, yeah, I know. You're doing really well. I've been watching some of your posts and they're they're really uh, you're quite the connoisseur of uh, of uh, of cooking lately. Oh, oh god. <laughs> that cheesecake was awesome. Yes, it was. <laughs> You're, you're you're getting really clever. I don't know what book you're finding your cookbook in, but uh, yeah, I love the banana. And uh... um, you know, as long as I've been on Facebook now, yes, I have. I, I get so many feeds from so many humor sites. Yes, and I I just like, oh, that's a good one, and you know, I pick them out and I throw them up. Wow, you yes. know, because not not everybody sees them, so it's like oh, that's no. just like people, you know. Think, People saying, "Oh, I'm going to borrow that." And it's like you aren't going to borrow anything. It doesn't I, matter. I, you know, I, I you're, guess you're, I, you're, I guess I'm one of the fortunate ones that sees all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. I, I get get some pretty good responses out of some of those. I don't doubt it. They're <laughs> wonderful recipes. You're quite like I said. You're a friggin' gourmet chef lately with your cookbook, and then uh, oh, okay. you know, I just had to go. Okay, he's, he's on a roll. I, I, I like the uh, banana bread too. Yes, you're. <laughs> yes. Anyway, JD puts up a lot of. Uh, f- lately, he's been getting into. Uh, uh, what do you call that when you post it? What do you What do you call it? The, the way you post follow it? me. Follow me for more recipes. Oh, you yeah, follow me for more recipes. Yeah, he puts up some pretty uh, exquisite or, or not stuff on on. You're quite again. You're getting in the culinary arts, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> What, well, well, yeah, is tonight, you know. Is tonight a night that uh, you're sleepless, or what's going on? No, of course not. Oh. I'm, uh, oh. I got up at uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon, <laughs> but I'd been up 30, 32 hours. Okay. So, you know. Okay, good. I'm glad you're, I'm glad glad you're, you're, you're bored. My, my, body roll, my body rolls weird sleep-wise these days. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, happens. You know, but uh, we mm-hmm. were in, we were in some deep thought with uh, again. I'm getting you know, like all things are coming full circle. People are wanting to. I got all these people wanting to talk about the struggle of divorce and single parenting, and it's like I have to let them do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really weird. You know, I tried to just let the world take its course, and it keeps on bringing me right back to that subject. But uh, so there we were once again tonight, and it could have gone on and on and on. But uh, I finally said, okay, enough. So we got to stop because we we went. Uh, it's gonna be a, a friggin' two-hour show, you know. Before you know it, but, yeah. But, well, uh, thank you to the lady that called in. Nah, uh, yeah. that's what this show is all about. Yeah, and then, then I finally said, you know, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It doesn't mean my birthday. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. Like I said, every day, I don't care what day we do something, so long as we do it. If I'm alive, life is good. There you go. There you go. As long as, as long as you wake up and you're still above ground. Absolutely. So, but but it was, and I kind of understand people. It's like you know, it should be a little bit. Somebody saying, "Hey, JD, uh, Melanie, my my super fan." She's saying, "Hey, JD, you got the, un, the very distinct mm-hmm. in my distinctive voice, people." Yeah, and uh, that's my uh, Melanie. She's the mouth of the South in uh, over there in Alabama, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, Melanie. Yeah, so it's all good, but uh, yeah, every day is a good day, you know. I mean, I, I love to tell you all these like great party stories, but I don't have any right now. I just don't. I'm too, you know, enthralled and just just keeping all this together and growing it. And uh, you know, I, I guess maybe I should do all the crazy stuff. I I did all of that crazy stuff decades ago. <laughs> well, I understand, but I mean, I you know, being what I'm doing, it's like everybody. I don't know. Perception's a whole different thing, and I, I like it. I like partying, and I still do. But, but you know, it takes a toll. You got everything in moderation. But it, just because it was my birthday, everybody was expecting that. You know, like I got to do something out of the ordinary. And this year, I just didn't. I was. I'm too busy. A lot has gone uh, transpired these past few weeks. And I told my story last week. I don't know if you caught it, but it was a very pretty. You know, I, I told uh, again somebody who I took care of passed away a few uh february 6th and so i have been busy dealing with that stuff life takes sure. pr- priority you know what i mean absolutely yep yeah i agree yeah and i and i talked about it. i've been holding back for ages not talking about these past seven months have been hell because i dedicated and i promised the man i'd, I'd see him through and 
and I did, and you know, and but it yeah. was it was difficult. But uh, so I told the story, and whether you know, I had somebody tell me he goes, I don't know, I don't believe in talking about the the dead and this and that. I go, it's history, it's a story. I I wanted to tell the story, good and bad. It's a story. So, yep. Anyway, yep. No. so so I've been busy. I've been busy. I'd love to tell you we went to Vegas and we we not you know I I can go to Vegas anytime. It's five hours away driving, forty five minutes on a plane. No big deal. Yep. No big deal. Been there, done that. We all been there, done that. We can all do it again. Yep. And believe me, one day we're gonna have a super huge party because things will finally cut loose and and I'll have multiple parties in multiple places saying we did it. Yep. But right now, well, we're busy doing it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Cre- cre- creation uh, of something new is always something uh, enjoyable to watch. I guess you <laughs> define enjoyable. My show is debatable. <laughs> it's just kind of yeah. is what it is. We need, we need some place to call up so we can rag on somebody. So. I know it's like it's like midnight hotline. You know, what you know, you know it's, uh, it's, it's almost one a.m. here. So, yeah, you know. well, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Love line. Uh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, but uh, again, very thankful just to be. Life is good. Yeah, in, in its own, I understand its own struggle, but you know the struggle is what makes it. You, you, I don't know. You know, you just finally when things start shining, you go, okay, it's good to breathe air again. <laughs> oh God! Yes. No, just call me Peter. No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Come on. Well, I, I would say Richard, but I'm not. I know. I know. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, long show, long day, long night, and I'm thankful for it all. And then here comes JD calling in to add some icing on the cake. There you go. Yeah. I, as, as, as if anybody really cares. What, right now. <laughs> uh, you know what? In the long run, they do. It's enter, it's entertainment. I go. I don't care what we talk about, so long as it's you know of worth. And you know, I saw a New York Nick. He posted because of Mardi Gras down in Pensacola, and, and his like. he so he he took a, a clip from his phone. And I swear to God, he couldn't have made it any shittier. It was the most crappy. Like it was sideways. And then his fingers were getting in the way, and and it was just horrendous. I'm going, what the hell are you? You knew, you know, and he's and he posted it, and it's like, ah, oh, the cinematographer's back. <laughs> well, hey, you know, he's, he's probably been enjoying some beverages yeah, that, there. And that's his, that's what I was thinking. As I was thinking, I'm going, damn it, I should have been know, there. I was exactly I sh- thinking about being a pro photographer. I know, I missed it, and I should have been there. But you know what? We'll be there. Someday I'm, he's going to have the party of his freaking life in that bar because I'm going to make sure we have one when things start yeah, grow, yeah. growing a little bit and everybody's going to be there. In that little, We're going to stuff 20 million people in that little bitty place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll love it. Yeah, we'll all wake up, you know, with hangovers and and, 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 and lampshades on our heads. <laughs> uh, not me, no thanks. No, uh, well, you know, you only live once, kind of. Oh, no, you live every day. They said you die once. Well, okay. Yeah, you only die once. That's it. You live once. All right. Look, uh, unfortunately, they're looking at me going. Uh, you're, it's, it's, an hour, it's an hour and a half show. Yeah, but, I ha- but when I saw you call, I had to answer because like that's the way I roll. That's the way I roll. And who are those wonderful people that brought this show? Oh, let me tell you, those wonderful people. Tonight's show is brought. To you. you never. You always. Oh, you're good for them. I'm going to recommend you to them. Bold energy, JD. Bold energy. Hey, Elect- yeah, electrify your senses. I, I, I've been known to do some voiceover work. Yeah, it's, it's I, it, I, I know you got the voice. It's like, did you know that Bolt Energy doesn't have any preservatives? No preservatives in Bolt Energy. That's right. It's the only energy drink that has that, you know. And if you want to find out more about Bolt Energy, go to www.drinkboltenergy. They'll tell you where you can get it. And this spot was brought to you by JD Stone, the voice. No, it's brought to you by Bolt. It's brought to you by Bolt, but JD Stone calling from afar. To make sure that I don't forget my spot, as usual. <laughs> hey, you gotta have gotta have the sponsor. Oh yeah, produce. You know, believe me, my future producer. <laughs> <Sorry>. There you go. 
Anyway, life is good. I'm thankful. And when I saw you pull up on the thing, I go, all right, you know what? Every day's a gift. You're coming on, even though we got to go. Okay. I'll talk to you soon, brother. All right, brother. Thank you so much. Love you to death. All right? You too, man. All right. I'll Bye. see you later. Goodbye. Wow. Okay, so I just made a long show longer. But you know what? This is the thing. I have no rules. We can do whatever we want to do. And uh, and when people call, I'll answer. But we do have to get out of here now. It's like too much. Uh, he just doesn't call lately. He, you know, his his schedule's all messed up too. And when he calls, I you know, I take it as a gift. Every day's a gift. Love you guys more than anything. But all I can ask you for is to share, share, share. Michael Wheeler. Damn, I'm getting all kinds of people. Share, share, share. This is so important to me, and I will not stop. And you know I won't stop because I'm here for you guys, all right? So love you more than anything. Thank you so much. I'm going to say this one more time, and we're going to pull, pull down the music. The birthday wishes uh, were incredible. Uh, there's too many, and the problem with Facebook is they're getting lost. I'm trying. It's going to take me probably another three, four days to try to keep searching for some that I, I just couldn't get to. But I, I truly appreciate it. You don't know what I mean. Everybody appreciates that. You know what I mean? But the the fan base, the, the, they don't. I can't see you guys. I can't see everybody that's watching. It looks like there's two people watching on one page and four hundred on another. But there's thousands. It goes on and on and on. That's why I say when I say three or three million, that's no bullshit. It's no bullshit. It's just the way Facebook is set up. It, it goes out to YouTube's, to LinkedIn's, to you know three different pages on Facebook. It's it, it just it's it's crazy. I believe in it because you believe in me, and I love you for it. But thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Till next year, you know, if I make it another year. I'm I'm just blessed to be. I just love what I do, and I do it for you guys. So, for me to you, let's get back next week. Next week, I think I know what I'm doing, but as always, I'm not going to tell you until I know exactly. We got a couple things up in the air. We kind of play things by ear, but. Um, uh, always, always something, you know, whether it's open phone lines, which nobody calls anyway, but, uh, I got a girl, a woman that wants to be on and I, I, I don't know, we haven't firmed it up yet, but it doesn't matter. Here we are. See you next Sunday night. Like every Sunday night right here, Facebook live life with Peter G. You guys rock. Couldn't do it without you. You're my driving force. Let's make this worth it to where you say, wow, we did it. Okay. All right. Peace out. Love you more than I can say. Be kind, all right? You don't have to be a pushover, but don't be a hard ass. Life is just a, you know, it, you just there's all kinds of things that happen in your life. A lot of bad, a lot of good, but just try to be humble. Be kind. It goes a long way. At the end of the, you know, the whole end of the story, you'll be thankful. That's the way I roll, and that's the way I'll stay, okay? Peace out. Love you guys. Show.